It is Hot 1079, Atlanta's number one hip hop station. My Asia Simone in the building. We got Zanique, aka Neek Neek. I've watched this woman grow. She is a woman now, y'all. I've watched her grow for years. I think we met when uh you were 20. Sure. Really? Right? Yeah, I think you were 20 because I, for the first time, um, it was none for free, your video. Mm. And I was just a, Do you I was remember a little where? production Because I was trying there. to figure out where did we meet. Like, I've known my Asia forever, y'all, <laughs> yes. I feel like. <laughs> How are you, first of all? I'm good. How are you? Good. It feels good to see you. I always mean, good to see you. You always blessing us with your beautiful energy and everything Thank that you. you have going on. Congratulations. Thank you. I so, that. everybody knows you from OMG Girls, mm -hmm. none for free. Mm -hmm. I mean, just you doing your solo thing. I mean, you being a mom now. How has life changed since those beginning times? I'm around, I think we met in like 20, I want to say 2015, right, 16. Right. Like how has okay. life changed since then? Oh man, life has changed so much since then. I would say um, being a mom changed me the most, definitely. Okay. <laughs> um, I thought, you know, I was grown before I was a mom. I'm, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm maturing, I'm this and that. No, when I ha became a mom, I'm, I really mature. I'm like, yeah. my whole mindset, everything, I just feel like just changed up so much. Um, and I started to have to figure out how to balance being a mom and like still, yeah, my career, a relationship, child, that was hard. That's <laughs> no. why I'm here talking about the breakup today because yes. the relationship was hard, baby. We're going to get we gonna get into the album because it's a lot I want to ask you about. The EP, I'm sorry. We're going to get into that later. But I want to touch on a few things that I think we should address to the mm. public because, you know, yes. people got questions and yes. I know you're going to have answers with you me. Know so it, you know I appreciate you for being here. All right, so let's get into it. This lawsuit, let's talk about it. Oh, this lawsuit. Oh, so this lawsuit. <laughs> this lawsuit. Okay, this OMG, the doll company. Mm -hmm. And we all clearly saw, I mean, and I don't know if you can hey. speak on this or not, but we all clearly mm -hmm. saw the similarities in you, your mm -hmm. personal image in mm -hmm. the doll, Beja, Brie. Mm -hmm. We saw these similarities, almost the exact same. Right. And uh, with the lawsuit, I know a lot of people kind of didn't know what happened with it. Mm -hmm. Like, what's going on with it? Is it... Is it over with or is it settled or? Um, so we got a mistrial. I don't know how much I can talk can, actually okay. talk about it, but okay. we got a mistrial. But it's supposed to be still well going, obviously. Still going. Okay. Yeah, I'm really just learning like court terms and yeah. stuff. So I'm like <laughs> mistrial has to yes. mean like going on ongoing. Yes, and yeah. for those who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, there's there were dolls that were kind of made or I would say inspired by the OMG mm -hmm. girls, inspired that by. Part. The OMG Let girls, and but I think they're claiming that they didn't actually take it, that mm -hmm. they were original, and mm -hmm. they just came. These ideas came out of mm -hmm. their brains, and so they're just trying to get through with it. So yes. um, I guess we'll just. I'm not gonna talk too much about it's it because okay, we just need to see what's gonna happen. Because right. we definitely want you to win this situation. Baby, thank you. I'm hoping we win too because we deserve it. Like yes, the dolls I mean, are OMG. Y'all had so much influence. I mean, OMG girls, I hate that y'all broke up. That was, what, 2015? Yes. 2015, but at least you said it was on good terms. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like, you know, it was any bad blood. Right. I think everybody went and did their own individual things. Mm -hmm. Beta, she got her own. She's back outside. Yes. You're back outside. Yes. We I outside. mean, <laughs> talk about, you know, if there's ever going to be a reunion or, or can we expect y'all to at least go on tour one time? You know what? I feel like because of our relationship and... Um, because we are always kind of asked to come back and do something <laughs> that, you know, as a group, we will most likely do something. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say what that is because, you know, with our fans, you don't want to get too specific. Too, yes, and then it not happen. Not hard. Yeah, you know, <laughs> let's not play with y'all at all, never. So, um, but I think that we always, you know, could come together and do anything. We just perform performed at Eric's birthday party <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, saying. it wasn't a real performance, <laughs> yeah. but you know, my mom made sure OMG girls were there to sing them songs for Eric's. You just wanted, y'all just wanted to make sure you still got it, just yeah, in case you know, something just happens. Just in case, yeah. yeah just in case, case something happens. We'll I mean, see. we look at these groups like, of course, Escape, mm -hmm. SWV, mm -hmm. um, oh my God, y'all are like coming behind legends who, Destiny's yes. Child, who yes. have like been together for years, my and bad. to see that, does that kind of inspire you to feel like Maybe uh, we should kind of stay together in a way, or are you still more so like, I want to do my own thing, or we want to do our own individual things? I think that um, I would say it was it's a little bit of in-between, Okay, maybe for everybody. I hate to speak for my girls, but <laughs> I want to say like, because um, I feel like everybody's always open to doing anything OMG. I feel like everybody is definitely enjoying doing their solo things, mm -hmm. but I think if the opportunity presented itself, we would definitely be like, yeah, like let's get together and do it. Because, yeah. yeah, we always talk about it. Well, look, <laughs> we do look, a lot of talking to, about it's it. It's good to talk about yeah. it. And so when it happens, if and when it happens, right, right. make sure you invite me. Make sure I'm oh, there. Oh, yeah, baby. I, I I've never actually been to an OMG 
girl concert. I think okay. at the time when I was like coming up, mm-hmm. I was like in college, I was traveling oh, yeah. and stuff, you so I wasn't time. even here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, around the time, so I would love to experience that first. Make sure you do. It's an experience. So. <laughs> oh, I already know y'all talented singing, dancing, the I colors, the, the swag, the drip. Oh my god, y'all like mm-hmm. really set the tone for. Y'all are really trendsetters, and I just want to say this. I appreciate that because that's all we trying to tell the people. Like they really try to play the OMG girls. I don't like that. Right. <laughs> okay, so motherhood. Mm-hmm. Neek Neek is a mother now. Zani, yes. I'm gonna call you Zani because at Girl, this point you can call me Neek Neek. Like, uh, okay. Like we well, family yes. at this point. You're right. So you're a mother now. Mm-hmm. Hunter is two. Right? Yes. Yes. How does it feel? I mean, I know you said she changed your life. Mm-hmm. She made you more of a loving person. Yeah. But like, go deeper into like being a mom because mm-hmm. a lot of people didn't expect you. Hey. Especially out of the OMG girls, Me especially either. out of uh, everybody. Right. We didn't expect you to be one of the first ones to have a child. So, like, yeah. talk about, like, what that is for you. Oh, man. Well, for one, no, I don't, nobody, not even myself, expected for me to have a child. So, okay. it was definitely very surprising for us <laughs> all. Um, but now that I am a mom and I've met my child, <laughs> she's, like, she's really, like, the person for me. Like, me and my cousin, we always talk about, like, she was, like, literally made for me. Like, um... I don't know, like, she, she's crazy. Okay. <laughs> I was, What's her I don't know. She's a Sagittarius. Okay, okay. Yeah, so she's it. like, she's really like a little Regine. Oh, wow. Basically. Oh, my God. That means she's going to be active. Oh, I yeah. Mean, she's yeah. She's spicy. And she's like already about her fashion. Uh, like, I can't take, she sleeps in a princess dress every night. Wow. Like, yeah, it's serious. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm just... <laughs> With her, I'm just rolling with the punches. Like, mm-hmm. there's no rule book to being a parent. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, it's just, like, just a big going with the flow type of thing for me. What's your favorite thing to do with her, like, when she grows up? And, like, what what would you be able to tell her, like, hey, you know, like, when you were young, we this is this. what we used to do? Yeah. Um, I feel like when I, I'll tell her that we, when she was young, we used to, like, have dance parties. Aww. Me and Hunter <laughs> have dance parties every day, pretty much. And it's mostly to Michael Jackson right now. What? The artist changes every month, but she's stuck on right Mike. Right now. Yeah, Michael right now is Mike. And I love that for her. Like, legendary, legendary <laughs> artist only. Is she on TikTok? She's not on TikTok yet. Okay. She's on YouTube Kids, and that's already enough. That's enough. Yeah, yeah. like oh, YouTube is serious. Yeah, the yeah. the videos be teaching these kids, like, before we can. So I'm going to try to lay low on the TikTok for a minute. Well, congratulations. I, I love to see that. it. You are grown. You are... You know, like I'm watching the levels. Yes. You know, like when people Every time. people always tell me, like I've seen you grow from A, B, and C, but like to actually Seriously. see it and to be here, like you're doing your thing, and I'm so proud of you. I appreciate that. The funny part is, I feel like that every time I see you. Really? Every time, like if I see you on my <laughs> timeline, and I'm like, my girl at next stage, like up, 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 like every it's time. Up, 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 <laughs> yeah, every time. Period. It's, it's really just the consistency. Mm-hmm. You know, I like even with you, like people don't understand you've been doing your solo thing for a while like you dropped mm-hmm. love jones what almost a year yeah. ago exactly or, or no like five, five years, years. Ago, you've right. been in a five-year hiatus mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. i mean you still have been being a mom having your career going on but yeah. you still have been able to like have your own solo career like mm-hmm. what is that like because balancing the two a lot of people don't do that you oh, know man. well <laughs> i love well <laughs> <No>. <laughs> right um that's the hardest part of having a kid i would say is just being able to or figuring out how to balance all of the things in one. Um, I think the most important thing, though, is having, um, uh, what do they call it? What? I'm having a brain fart. Um, what, what, what? Like, oh, yeah, your support system. Yeah, okay. <laughs> support system. That is the most important part. And yeah. I feel like um, with me, I have a, a pretty good support system. But, but my, have you found some babysitters, though? No, I know you no. said that you've been having a yes. hard time finding babysitters. I'm glad that you know. Like, no. <laughs> Like, my babysitters are my family, which is how I like it. Yeah. But all, every single one of my family members has their own busy life going yeah. on. Like, so it can be hard. Um, it can definitely be hard. And then, like, I'm not with my child's father, but, you know, I still ask him to come to my Wait, house so a lot. y'all aren't together. Girl, right. that's what the breakup is. I know. Really, well, I you it think was, it's fake? You know it's what? cap? You know, you know what? I, I'm not even going to lie. I'm, you know, because I'm on this side of the industry, sometimes mm. I just think it's like a publicity yeah. thing. Just, Usually you know, that's what it is. Yeah, but I mean, y'all still kind of move as a unit in a way. Yeah. You know, and so that's why I was a little yeah. confused. Yeah, it's a little because tricky. I'm like, yeah. It's like, like a ghetto lust thing. Ghetto <laughs> baby daddy lust thing. thing. Yeah. Oh, I man. mean, like, we love each other. You know, we tried to work it out a couple times. I mean, 
we probably try to work it out again tomorrow. Like it's just always up in the air. With us. <laughs> but like you know, we're both. That's your Jody. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But we're both very much like single. But you know, it's still like you're still a family still a lot at of, the end of the yeah, day. You still much. have to talk to each other. Mm-hmm. You still have to mm-hmm. because of Hunter, you have to be there for one another. Exactly. I mean, just talk about being in the entertainment industry mm-hmm. and how you're able to because a lot of people's relationships don't work when mm-hmm. you have two people in the same mm-hmm, industry. Mm-hmm. Um, I I want to say that I actually enjoy, um, with, um, Izzy exactly having I mean um both of us being in the same in- industry. Mm-hmm. I don't really know that that works with everybody, but for me and Izzy, I feel like um you wouldn't say the industry is what broke you up. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Not okay. the industry. No, okay. it's just child. What he do, girl? What he I do, love what he, what he do, do, girl. What he do, child? Ain't no telling. <laughs> like it's been it's been a minute. <laughs> It's been a minute. He just probably, you know, messed my piece up a little bit at one point, and I'm just like, all right. You couldn't like, shake back. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I'm not good at shaking back. Like, I'm not really a, I'm not like a worker outer type person. Like, yeah. you know how our grandmas and like they used parents, to stay down yeah, like and my mama and Tia, like it's solid. Like back in the days, he talks about like how, you know, grandmothers and moms used mm-hmm. to stay down, and mm-hmm. you know, like he'll cheat, he'll go have three kids, mm-hmm. he'll come back and she'll still be there yes, solid. But solid. you just said you're not there. You're not that mature yet. I'm not that mature yet. <laughs> like, that's why I'm always saying, like, I'm not married. I'm not ready for marriage mm-hmm. because I feel like, um, I mean, everybody's, people who, people always have so much to say, like, oh, no, you you don't have to take this, you don't have to take this. But I feel like most of that be people who not who aren't even married or, like, mm-hmm. don't really know. And I was just saying, like, before I became a mom, I didn't know anything about being a mom. I talk so much, like, oh, I'm going to be like this, I'm going to be like that. And it's not like that. So yeah. now I try not to even really talk about marriage because I've never been married. So it's like, yeah. it's probably you don't nothing think it what I like. Mm, I mean, because you maybe. know, young, young Miami gave a reason, of the reason why she wouldn't want to be a wife. Like, well, do you want to be a wife or do you? I want to be a wife at some point. Like, when I'm a little older. Because she felt... Okay, I'll give you her. Because you asked Okay, her. yeah, yeah. Her reason that. was she doesn't want to be a wife because she feels that men always cheat no mm-hmm. matter what. And mm-hmm. she's she feels like if you put a ring on my finger, mm-hmm. I'm, it's a no tolerance rule. Like, right. It's, as it it's unacceptable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as it should be. I feel like I... I feel that way as well. I hate to feel like that because usually people be like, oh, if you feel like all men cheat, it's, it's because, like, of your experiences. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I've just always, like, grown up like being taught that yeah. like that's just what's <laughs> right. going to kind of happen mm-hmm. and i don't know some people are like oh you just haven't found the right man so maybe but do you think it's a pop- okay i mean so let me dig <laughs> a little deeper because yeah. now i'm wondering uh-huh. so if izzy if you're not able to completely forgive him or move past it mm-hmm. do you think there's someone else that it will either come close to either dating you now or is it kind of like you want to stay single um right now i want to stay single okay. only because i'm um even honestly somebody being in a relationship with me can be a little tricky okay. because you don't even have to cheat on me or none of that sometimes sometimes you just just be dirty really <laughs> so, like, I, mean, I don't know something like random like, yeah like okay. i just or i just like i like to be by myself i've always liked to be by myself so a lot of times like i be needing my space like mm-hmm. and living with somebody can be a little like overwhelming like okay. it's cool it's it's got its honeymoon stage okay but after a while like, <laughs> like it'd be uh, given like uh, i want to because i feel like when you live with someone you have to compromise so much like absolutely. you know we stand on whatever we the rules we make as one and a lot of times or not a lot of times, but <laughs> after a while, I'll be like, okay, like, I'm ready to do my my Long stuff. Thing. Yeah, how yeah. I want to do it. So, It could be, yeah. like, a mixture of something as small as, I don't like how he put his toothpaste his toothpaste uh-huh, or his toothbrush uh-huh. or stuff And like it's that. just giving, this ain't going to work. <laughs> really? <laughs> that'd be me, that'd be me. Oh, my God, can yeah. I give you some big sister advice? Yes, give okay. me right. Okay, so Because my mama like, be trying to get me she right. Did, right, so I've, so I've learned that mm-hmm. when it comes to living with somebody, mm-hmm. I mean, even if it's a sister or a brother, mm-hmm. it doesn't even have to be a man or a boyfriend yeah. or anything like that. It's just kind of like, maybe if you a good, and I think you're in a position to do that, but like have your space where like, this is your space where mm-hmm. if you want to just go take time, even if it's in a living room, like just room. to like yeah. be in, have a room True. or like, that's why men have like man caves. I would mm-hmm. just say like, find a way to get, to get space. Okay. I mean, if, if you're sharing every single thing in the mm-hmm. house that it could possibly be, you know, like annoying. Yeah. I would okay. just say find a way to separate yourself. In right. A way. In the house. Yes, in the house. Okay. That's like if you get mad and you argue, just yeah. go downstairs or, you know, like you sleeping down there for three days, you know, or something right, like right, that. Right, right, right. 
I would just say you probably need more space. But if it's small and cramped up, then maybe. I mean, it's not small and cramped up, but it's just like you sleep on a couch and I, I got to get some water. And you see and it. And I like see you. I'm irritated again. <laughs> right, 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 right. I don't know. I'm just a little, like, I, have a, I could be psycho sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I just charge into the game. Like, sometimes I am the problem, honestly. You're, you think so? You think between you and Izzy, you were the problem? Not all the time, yeah. but okay, out of ten times, how many times were you the problem? All right, oh, out of ten. Since we talking about that, <laughs> out of ten, um, I'm probably I don't I want to say it's half and half. You no, to no, no, no. I'm trying. No, no, no. Really I'm probably <laughs> I'm probably it's probably more like I'm like six. You more of six, or probably he's yeah, more he more four. So, I think there's an opportunity for it to come back. I mean, especially yeah, how I see I mean, you interact in public on social media, how y'all are walking. I'm yeah. just rooting for y'all because I know I both it. of you. I love and people root for us. Yes. I just, you. And you said it's a ghetto love story. So, you know, yes. ghetto love story, it never ends. Like, yeah, you You're going to be lie. together, so you might as well find a way to coexist, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, my mom was kind of just saying the same thing really? the other day. She just she like, got a ghetto love story. <laughs> yeah, she does. Yeah, my mom's all for love. Like, right? all the time, my mom's like, girl, stop being mean. That my, All my family members always saying that like you so mean but like i feel like sometimes you gotta be with these especially with the young men like you you kind of gotta like yeah you gotta keep them on their toes Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no you're doing the right thing i just feel like i'm glad we can have these conversations you know i like that little advice oh look no you're Mm -hmm. welcome because i I just think you know i've been there i'm not gonna say i'm like super older than you or anything like that but I just kind of like went through some of those things and yeah. I've learned like if I would have just something so small that you yeah. can change may change the whole dynamic mm, of the relationship. And true. there's much more, but we can talk about that right. later too. You know we can. All right, Shut so let's up. get into this EP, The let's Breakup. We already, that leads us into it. All right. So it's one feature on there, which mm-hmm. is, <laughs> is your it? ex, <laughs> your, your baby daddy, your, your, your get a love story, mm-hmm, your lover. Mm-hmm. Um, why did you feel it was important to put one feature on this, on this EP? Um, to be honest, it's, it could have, it would, it almost could have been <laughs> no features. Really? Yeah, okay. but the song I did with Izzy, it wasn't like a song that I made for the project. The other song That's was my like, favorite one, too. Though. Really? Yeah. Everybody, thank you, thank you. Everybody likes that song. Um, it was just like something randomly that we just did one day when we were just having a good day. And was like, oh, let's just sing about our relationship. And my mom was the one who was like, oh, this got to be a part of this breakup project. Yeah. And at first, or anytime I was cool with him, I'm mm-hmm. like, that's cute. It's, mm-hmm. Let's go on a project. Let, let it go on a project. Then mm-hmm. anytime I got an argument with him, I'm like, take that song off. Oh, yeah. I don't want that song on there <laughs> it's no a more. Lot of yeah, it was, it was a lot of up You know it's going to stick. That's what it is. You yeah. know that at the end of the day, if we break up or we're done for good, that yeah. song is still going to be there. Yeah. It, yeah. That's what I was saying. <laughs> and I'm, I kept saying, I was like, I don't know if I want to bring Izzy into my new year. That was the first my thing. I don't think I don't think I want to be giving like me and Izzy as one into my new year. Like I want to yeah. just I feel cuz you know if you don't talk about stuff people will kind of forget. Yeah. So I'm just like if I don't like, you know, keep stamping it, then they might forget. But my mom was just like, "No, like that tells a story. Like and that is still your story." So mm-hmm. she was like, "Make that has to be a part." And I'm glad that, you know, she kind of forced that on me. I'm like, yeah. "All right, let me put it to the side and just keep it on there." You know what I love? <laughs> what? I love the fact that this in this particular conversation, mm-hmm. you have said you have talked about Tiny like a lot. That's just already, girl. you give her her ups. Like you, you could tell that your relationship is tight. Mm-hmm. I know there was a viral moment where you talked about, it you was. know, she was always with Tip when you were growing up, mm-hmm. and you wish that you were closer. Mm-hmm. You know, like I, I, I sense the love, mm-hmm. and I feel as if you know maybe your words are probably taken the wrong way. Yes. Because, yes. and I know that's what happens with you yes. a lot. You know, people always you know clap it. back at you. But you yes. learn how to clap back. That's one you thing know, I can say. I, I, I did learn a little bit. You know, I used to be real quiet. I mean, I'm still mm-hmm. quiet, but like, if I had to, I'll get in there a little bit. But, um, yeah. With how did she said, take that when you, when you said that? You know what? That was... That was a, a whole moment in itself. Okay. Um, when I did the interview... Uh, with Jay Hill, shout out to Jay Hill. Um, I was already nervous from jump. Like, okay. uh, like I don't know how my mom's gonna feel about that. Yeah. Like, you know, that's he, why it was yeah. Out. I'm like, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. And he just was like, you know, that's it's vul- He really talked to me like, you know, it's a vulnerable moment. Of you course. know, like I'll cut out whatever you want to. And I, after we had a talk, I'm like, you know, I'll leave a little bit in there. And okay. that's how that happened. Mm-hmm. But it was I had never talked to my mom about that. Oh, that so, was her first time. Yeah, that was her first time hearing oh. it. So that's why I was really like nervous because I'm just like my relationship with my mom is so good so I didn't want her to you know be hurt by that I was telling her like I'm like I didn't want you know you to I didn't want it to come out because I told her I felt like I would be more hurt to know that I hurt her feelings Mm -hmm. than 
the then hurt you, I said that I felt when I was a kid. Of course, of course. And you know how people always, when they put it on the vlog, it, on a they vlog, make it they, ten times worse. Exactly, yeah. and they never put in like the good part. It's only like the cutout. So she was like, "You ain't, you ain't telling we was best friends." You, I'm like, "Mom, y'all are, yeah, You're her first. But I said it in the interview, and they cut it out. But they cut it out. In the, in so the my mama thinking I'm in there just talking bad about him. Uh, I'm like, "Mom, go watch the, the interview. interview. Like I'm yeah. talking good about you as well. I just was talking about something that I felt when I was young. But I mean, it all, you know, turned out good. I feel like we had conversations. Did that, she actually go watch it? Um, I think she probably watched. I think that she, she probably was nervous too. Oh, yeah, okay. she believed me, but I think that um she saw some other clips. I don't know oh, if she went and actually watched it. The okay. interview was two hours long. You know, my mama is like um scatterbrained. Yeah, so, so she after, probably did not sit there for minutes, two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, minutes, exactly. Yeah, all she needed to see was a little clip of me saying something. And she started was like, oh, "Okay, I did see you said this, this, and that." Oh. And I mean, we had some uncomfortable conversations. So I mean, it was cool. I, I enjoyed but you got it. Actually. Past yeah, it. Well, we got past this. So and that's the good thing about you right. being her best friend. You know, mm -hmm. being that your actual dad was away at prison right. when you were growing up. So I'm glad that you have that connection. And yeah. so is that the same connection that you feel like you want to have with Hunter or is it, Absolutely. I know you mentioned, you know, growing up, you didn't want to, you didn't, you didn't like the fact that Tiny was away, mm -hmm. you know? So is that why you're so like, you know, focused on motherhood? And I think that that definitely plays, plays a big part of it. Yeah. Okay. That definitely plays a big part of it. Um, even though, you know, I learned that from the part that I didn't or part that I was hurt from, mm -hmm. I still do want my relationship to be a lot like me and my mom's. Because I call my mom for everything. Like, cause, I know. <laughs> love her. I love her. <laughs> you know I love my mama. So. Every time I've seen y'all, she yeah. got your back. That's what I'm saying. Like, people need to understand that. Like, tell there is you. no tiny without Zadie and vice versa. I'm, like, Bro, that's why I be trying to tell. <laughs> that's why I was trying to explain to my own mom. Like, after the interview come, I'm like, trying to give her her flowers. I'm like, mom, when do I not give you your flowers? Like, I would not be able to do anything without my mom. Like, yeah. I, be tell I was trying to tell her, like, the best one of the best things other than life and all the other stuff that she could ever gave me was like setting me up to be able to take care of myself like yeah. that's everything to me like ever since omg girls i've never had to ask them for money or oh like i've been able to take care of myself ever since then yeah. and i wouldn't have, you done have that you've been very mature from the time i, I met you that. so i cannot wait to see what happens i mean i was on twitter i was seeing that everybody was talking about the breakup the ep they love it they want to yeah. see more of this from you we got to get you some, I want to see you work with Summer Walker. Yes, I want to see too. you work with, I don't know, do do some, just, just, I want to see you just, you, you know. want to see me go hard. I want to see you do it. I appreciate that. And you have the best videos. Oh, I saw the video with you and um, Izzy, Izzy too. Oh, like, yes. it was nice. Thank you. I think you just have all the talent. You have everything that it takes. Thank and I want you, so you to, I want to see you on, you know how we watch each other on mm -hmm, social media. Mm -hmm. I want to see you continue to rise because I, appreciate I can see you up there. I'm, I I'm not just saying that because I know you. Right. I'm not saying that. I heard, I hear your voice. I know your sound. Like, I just think you have it. So I want to see that happen for you. My age, I really appreciate that. Like, I love you so much. I don't think you understand. I love you too. <laughs> this is my girl. <laughs> so tell me what you got coming up or like something that we don't know. Give me something exclusive. Mm. Something exclusive that everybody should know about. Well, um, hopefully soon we're going to be doing a video to one of the songs on the project. Okay. My mom, Miss Over the Top, <laughs> wanted to do a a full like movie okay. for all the songs. Oh, she on her Beyonce. Yeah, okay, okay, she was. Okay. Lemonade was definitely one of the things being mentioned. Like okay. lemonade, like lemonade. Okay. And I'm like, um, <laughs> you know. So we we'll see because okay. I usually I'm like trying to, cause you know I'm an independent artist. Yes. And I'll be trying to help my mama save money. Yes. But she be coming up <laughs> She's with all so these ready ideas. To just yeah. Pour just, in yeah. Me. And I'm yeah. just like, you know, let's maybe do one video. She's doing good on tour. You better take that money. <laughs> Baby. Right. You okay. She, she said she getting paid. Right Stop yeah. playing with her. You ain't lying, though. <laughs> Let me rethink. <laughs> right, right. But yeah, maybe um, definitely some visuals coming soon. Yeah. First. And. It's like I want to talk about my candle line, but I just do not have it all the way together. A so line? I started a candle line. Wow. People know about it, or my fan base know about it, but okay. I, I. What is I it start, called? It's or called. Can you say it? No, it's called Loud Sense. Loud Sense. It's called okay. Loud Sense. Okay. And um, I had started putting a lot of things together at one time, mm -hmm. and it got overwhelming. So okay. I was like, okay, music, candles. I had to really map it out. So. Soon candles will be coming out. Okay, I'm we getting gonna, it together. We gonna have to talk about that too again. I'm gonna have yes. to like either do a live with you or something, and Please. we can talk about it. And make sure you send me some scents too. I will. I love candles. I love to light light them up. Oh yeah. What's, what's one scent? Are you gonna do like a personal scent? You know how like Erica Badu did like one of her. Oh yeah, I love that. <laughs> that was so iconic to me. Um, <laughs> um, my names. I did come up with the names, but 
I, one of them is named Eris, for Ares. sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, okay. We, I can't we remember my ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Okay. But they have really, some really good scents. I'm happy about them. I'm excited about them. Well, yes. Thank you so much, thank sis. Thank you. The EP is out. The Breakup. Tell everybody where they can stream it, where they can find it. You can find The Breakup on all platforms. iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud. I'll be forgetting them all. All streaming platforms. Stream it. Right. Download it. It's my agent, Simone and Zani. We out.